If your life was a movie and it started now, forget about whatever financial disasters you've had, personal failures, relationship failures. What would the hero of your life's movie do right now? Do that. Do those things. We define ourselves far too often by our past failures. We look at our past and we say, well, that's me. That's not you. You are this person right now. You're the person who's learned from those failures. And you can choose to be the hero of your own movie right now. Write down your goals. Write down things you want to improve. Write down things you won't tolerate from yourself. Write down things that you've done in the past that you never want to see yourself do again. And go forth from here as the hero of your own movie. Build momentum. Build confidence and momentum with each good decision that you make from here on out. You can do it. Anyone can do it. We live in unique times. We live in one of the rarest times in human history where you can choose almost all the input that comes your way. Whether it's the movies that you watch, the books you read, the podcasts you listen to, you can choose to be inspired. Do that. Do that. And be the hero of your own movie. It's good to treat other people the way you would like to be treated yourself. It's like a golden rule, and there's a reason for it. And that reason is that we're connected in some strange way that we don't totally understand. And unless you are good to other people around you, unless you're kind and friendly and warm and loving, you're not going to enjoy this life. You're just not. You're going to be problems everywhere you go. You're going to have problems everywhere you go. you got to figure out a way to enjoy this life. It's not because of Jesus. It's not because of Moses. It's not because of anybody that may or may not have ever existed. It's because that's how you fit in better in the world. That's how you stay positive. And it doesn't have to be some shit that was written 5,000 years ago on and animal skins that doesn't have to be the golden rule because it's old you know that's dumb we need to figure out like now today what what is you know the best way to live your life what is the you know there, there's got to be ways where you can be putting forward the most positive energy I mean we know objectively what's causing pollution we know objectively what's causing birth defects and you know and are, we're taking in too much chemicals and not enough vitamins we know objectively all this stuff we know how to organize our world and yet we don't do it we know how to organize organize our health and yet very few people do it we know all these things the right path to like being like a happy healthy person is to do all the shit that we already know you're supposed to do take care of your body take care of your health take care of your mind your stress meditate be kind to people we all know that I mean you ask anybody they know how to get by and to be the the the, the most evolved version of you that you can be I mean it's not like a, a magical checklist if you talk to people about it you said okay here you're, you got a person you want to improve them what are the things that you're gonna do to them Okay, well, if I was a life coach, the first thing I would say is this guy's got to get on a diet that makes him healthy. I don't mean a diet just to lose weight. I mean just healthy foods in your body, v many, many vegetables, vegetables, a lot of good, good quality protein, a lot of water, stop the sodas, stop the bullshit. Start working out your body and get a better sense of like how this machine feels when it's moving, it's flowing better, there's less tension in it, your mind feels like relaxed and, and you enjoy every single moment of the day better. Step one, everybody knows that step, right? What's step two? Be cool to people. Be nice to as many people as you can. Smile at as many people as you can. Have them smile back at you. Tip well when you go to restaurants. Just do the most you can. Be as nice as you can, you know, and just still manage to not have people walk all over you. Just get through this life as nice as you can what else do what you want to do with your life right don't don't go be doing something you don't enjoy don't do something that's don't get locked into you know a, a car that you can't afford and doing something crazy because you need the money don't don't do that do what you want to do do what the f is it that you really want to do because if someone else is doing it you can do it you know I mean everybody makes their own path through this world but a lot of people don't follow the path that they really f feel pulled to you know, just for whatever reason, they got negative programming. You know, when they were kids, someone told them they couldn't do it or told them to take the shortcut or, or take the, uh, the, the sure route. That's a, a sad thing, man, when you talk to dudes, especially like talented dudes, and they don't follow up with what they want to do, you know? There's a, a bunch of people that will say, yeah, well, I have a family, so, you know, it's a great idea for you to just go out there and go crazy. I have people to support. You need to listen. Stop saying that. Stop saying any of those things. Every single person who has ever done anything worthwhile or exceptional or difficult or extraordinary, anyone, whether it's great artists or authors or mathematicians or whatever the f it is, 
Everyone encounters difficulties. There is no easy road. It does not exist. It is impossible. Everyone has issues. If you have time to pursue a hobby, if you have time to do anything in your life, you can better yourself. And here's one way you never better yourself. When you come up with excuses for why other people are successful and you're not, that sh is f dangerous. When you give yourself an escape, yeah, well, that's easy for you to say, you know, you do this, you do this, you do this. Trust me, everybody has a hard road. I wanted to jump out a window several times during my young life. I wanted to jump in front of a f train, just end it because it's too much pressure. Not really. But you know what I'm saying, theoretically. We all go through hard times. We all go through depression. We all do go through doubt and, and, and moments in your life where it's really f difficult and you're trying to figure out what the f your path is going to be. It's hard as sh**. But Stefan and I were talking about this before the podcast starts that that is what makes you a person. And those difficult moments are what build your character.